Hello world, my name is Ranger Anna. I work at Kiriconti National Recreation Area in Gunnison, Colorado, but I used to be a ranger at Mount St. Helens, and it's a place that I still hold so near and dear to my heart. Volcanoes have shaped a lot of the places we live, whether we know it or not. In fact, right here where I'm standing, in the middle of Colorado, is shaped by volcanoes from millions of years ago. But volcanoes are such a big mystery. And back in 1980, 40 years ago, they were even more of a mystery. Mount St. Helens completely changed the science of volcanoes forever. And one of the ways she did that, we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna talk about what's called the lateral blast. Now, what does lateral mean? I'd tell you right now, but I'm building suspense. To understand this phenomenon, we have to start from the beginning. Back in 1980, before Mount St. Helens erupted, the science of studying volcanoes, or volcanology, was pretty new. There was still so much scientists didn't know. In March of 1980, Mount St. Helens started rocking and rolling with earthquakes. That's because magma was moving on up the pipe of the volcano. On the inside, the rocks at the top of the volcano were much too hard, and so were the rocks on the south side of the volcano. So the magma began to push on the north side of the volcano where there were weaker rocks. Try saying weaker rocks three times fast, it's hard. And the north side of the volcano began to grow and grow and grow. It grew at the rate of five feet a day. That's the height of one Ariana Grande every day for two months, except growing sideways. And I want you to imagine, let's leave ballerinas out of this because I bet they can do it, but if you stood on one foot and leaned as far over as you could, you would fall because gravity is pulling you down. It's kind of what happened with Mount St. Helens. There was so much extra weight that gravity finally did its job. And on May 18th, 1980, there was a huge landslide. I'm sure you've heard this before, but I'm gonna say it again. I want you to imagine what happens when you shake up a soda bottle. I am using an undisclosed brand of soda. And you shake it, and you shake it, and you shake it, and you shake it, and you kind of squeeze it, and the pressure is building and building. Shake it some more, shake it some more, shake it some more. Common sense, what's gonna happen when I unscrew the top? It's gonna spray everywhere. I want y'all to close your eyes for a second and picture what a volcano looks like when it erupts. Does it look like this? Yep, that's what we think of most of the time. A volcano blows up. But where was all that pressure building? North. So which direction do you think it blew? North. Picture that Coke bottle again. Oops, I mean, soda bottle. Except when I unscrew the cap and point it, it's gonna go sideways. And if you're north of Mount St. Helens on May 18th, 1980, it's going to come right at you. Yes, I had to wash my clothes immediately after this. So what does lateral blast mean? Horizontal, sideways. But this was way more than opening a soda bottle. What laterally blasted out of Mount St. Helens that day were molten rock, some the size of cars, superheated gases, and everything that the strong blast could carry with it. It completely ripped trees up from their roots. It destroyed an area the size of Chicago in 180 seconds. Survivors describe it as a hot stone wind that moved more like water. Finally, at the edge of the blast zone, the blast was too weak to knock over trees anymore, but it was still hot enough to burn them where they stood. We now know that lateral blasts do happen. They've happened over time in history. They don't occur often, but when they do, they are devastating. And we are still learning from Mount St. Helens today in so many different ways. The eruption of Mount St. Helens and its lateral blast changed volcanology as we know it today. On May 18, 1980, 57 human lives were lost from that eruption. But just like today in 2020, dealing with a global pandemic, from tragedy, we can become students and learn as much as we can to apply it for decades to come. I really hope you've enjoyed this video, and I hope that someday when it's safe enough, you'll visit Johnston Ridge Observatory on the north side of Mount St. Helens and see why it's so special 
and why I'm in the middle of Colorado still talking about volcanoes.